I've been dyeing my hair at home for years now and it's a lot easier than you think. So if you'd like to see my top tips for dyeing your hair at home with little mess, no fuss and pro results, then just keep watching. So, so, so. This pesky grey regrowth is the reason why I need to colour my hair every couple of weeks to disguise it. As you can see, it's not great. If you're covering grey hair like me, you need to use a permanent hair dye. This is a new one from Schwarzkopf, which I'm finding absolutely great. I always use my own brushes and I will show you why very shortly, but these are two brushes that I've had for a long time and they do the trick. You do need a clip or a hair tie and a little mixing bowl and again I'll show you what that's used for very shortly too. And some chapstick. This is my best kept secret. This color's a new favorite of mine. I just find it does a really good job and it covers up grays like crazy. Inside the box, you'll find the developer, the cream color, a conditioner, and a treatment to use three weeks after you've colored your hair. If you haven't used the colour before, it really does make sense to read the instructions thoroughly first. And in this particular colour is a anti-breakage serum and obviously a pair of gloves. When I'm just touching up the regrowth, I mix only the amount of product that I actually need. And so that means that one box will usually give me four colours. And this works out at about $5 to cover my regrowth, which I think is pretty good value. So all you do is mix it up very quickly in a small container like I'm doing here, and then it's ready to apply to your hair. This is something I do every time I color my hair and I just run some chapstick right around my hairline and this prevents the dye staining your skin. It works wonders. Even if you're coloring your entire head of hair, it's best to start with the hairline. That's the part that will get noticed the most and it's really important to make sure that you cover it well. So I just use one of my brushes and today I'm just covering up my greys. So I'm making sure that I get enough product to really cover them well. Then I use the end of my other brush to basically section off my hair and then that makes sure that I'm covering up all of the root area of my hair where most of the greys appear. If you're coloring your entire head of hair you just continue with this sectioning process and instead of just applying the product to the roots you bring it down to the mid lengths and then at the very end you bring that color right down to the ends of your hair. I always sort of rub it in around my hairline too, just to make sure that I've got enough product there and it's really covering up those greys. Then depending on the instructions in your box, you just leave it to develop. For me, I always tie my hair up, making sure not to get my ends into the color because I like them to be a little bit lighter. And then you leave it on for the desired amount of time. I always just clean up around my hairline with a damp cloth to get the excess product off my skin. Once the color has been left on for the desired amount of time, I then shampoo my hair. I use the conditioner that comes in the box and then I blow dry it. And as you can see, the color is really nice and even. And most importantly, all of my grays have been well covered. <laughs> Don't forget to use a shampoo and conditioner for color treated hair. This box actually comes with a conditioner that helps to repair and revive your color after three weeks. And this will really help to prevent your color from fading. 
so that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, I'd love you to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.